This is the most secluded national road in Vietnam. You won't meet anyone for hours. You won't see any houses for hours. You'll be alone in the jungle. This is the Ho Chi Minh Road West, a road with deep roots in Vietnam's tumultuous modern history. In today's and next Friday's video, I'll show you everything you need to know about the 240 kilometers from Khe Gat to Khe Sang, including do's and don'ts. Before we get into the history of this awesome road, how do you get there? My four friends, one of their puppies and I started in Donghui city, Quang Binh province. I sent my bike there by train, I flew in and at 7 a.m. we were on the road. Wherever you're coming from, from Hanoi, Phong Nha or Donghui, you need to type KM0 Deng HCM Hegat into Google Maps. At this junction, you'll find a plaque with its history. This is the northern end of the Ho Chi Minh Road West. From here, you'll need to head south on QL15 or National Road 15, which is the Ho Chi Minh Road West. On the 2nd of September 1945, Vietnam declared independence after decades of French colonization. In 1954, the Battle of Dien Bien Phu took place and, followed by the Vietnamese victory, Vietnam was internationally recognized as independent. However, the country was separated into two roughly equal parts and after elections never took place since they were rejected by South Vietnam, North Vietnam realized that the only way left to unify the country was through force. I think it's straight, but we can check. Therefore, a secret jungle route would be constructed to supply this war effort. And that route was named the Ho Chi Minh Trail, after modern Vietnam's founding father, and opened right on his birthday, the 19th of May, 1959. The Ho Chi Minh Trail was actually a complex network of supply routes and not one single path used during the Vietnam War, running from North Vietnam but also through Laos and Cambodia and into South Vietnam. It was crucial for the North Vietnamese in transporting troops, weapons and supplies. Despite the intense bombing campaign by the United States, the trail was a vital part of the North Vietnamese war effort. The trail often moved through rugged terrain. In the post-war period, the term Ho Chi Minh Road refers to a modern network of highways in Vietnam, designed to follow and improve upon the roots of the old Ho Chi Minh Trail. It serves as a major transportation route connecting the northern and southern parts of Vietnam, facilitating economic development and integration within the country. The Ho Chi Minh Road is a symbol of Vietnam's reconstruction and development efforts following the war. It is a backbone of modern infrastructure. At Khe Gat, the Ho Chi Minh Road splits into two branches, east and west respectively, with the western branch running over 500 kilometers further down south, near the border with Laos. 
These 240 kilometers between Hegat and Hesang, part of the Ho Chi Minh Road West, which we'll explore in these two videos, was mostly built on the old wartime Ho Chi Minh Trail. Some people ride on this road and say, I've been on the Ho Chi Minh Trail. Although most of it was built by enlarging and paving the old Ho Chi Minh Trail, it is more appropriate to call this national highway the Ho Chi Minh Road, since it is a road mostly paved with concrete. Either way, Riding on this road will bring strong, deep emotions if you think about everything that happened around here. Respect this road. Please don't leave trash around and enjoy the ride. We'll continue with more information about the wartime Ho Chi Minh Trail in my second video next week. Please subscribe to stay tuned. În primul rând, în al doilea rând, nu vedeți că dorm. Dă-i mă drumul aici! Ce motocicletă frumoasă are! I'd like to say it from the very beginning. Don't do it alone. This is the most important tip I'll ever give about this wonderful road. It should not be done alone. And it's not because it's a difficult and challenging road. I'd say it's of a medium level. And it's not because it's dangerous in regard to traffic. It has almost no traffic and you probably won't have to overtake any vehicle. It's because it is so secluded. On the 105 km segment from Hegat to Longsan, where I recommend you stop for the night at the Cheng Tai Motel, you will not see houses or people and maybe you'll see just a few motorbikes passing by for the first 80 km. Which means that if you have a simple flat tire or if your clutch cable snaps for something more serious like your engine simply failing, you're stuck. And I mean stuck for real. If for some reason your bike fails, the closest village where you could find help may be, depending on where you are, a few tens of kilometers away. Ai easy pe noi n-ai. Ce părere ai despre acest loc? Zep, 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 zep. În primul rând, bună ziua, super frumos, extraordinar de tare. Puteți spune ceva în vietnameză? Yes, zep, 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 ceau. Mă, hai, ba. Băi, zădi, hai, ai n-ai, ai easy pe noi n-ai. Ting viet, noi ting viet dimă. Rumanii cum dă? Acest loc este magnific, ba chiar marobolant. Nu există cuvânt ăla. Băi zău, hai, conciunai, ce părere aveți despre acest loc?
So please don't do it alone. Bikes do fail sometimes. Not to mention an accident for whatever reason. A wet road, gravel, etc. Actually, don't do it alone doesn't quite say it all. Don't do it on one bike. Because even if you go with a passenger, if that one bike fails, you're both stuck. A minimum of two people plus two motorbikes is a must. This way, if one bike fails, you still have the option of riding the other bike and getting help and not spending the night in the jungle. Parcă mă bucur, da, parcă mă bucur să văd iar civilizație pe aici, știi? După atâta nevăzut. Hey, bro! Hey, bro! Hey, uh, did you take that bridge? It was right after one or two kilometers from where we said goodbye. Yeah, yeah, we're about five minutes away from where we're supposed to be, I think. See you, brother. Great. See you, brother. See you, sir, yeah. Bye. Most of this road is made of concrete slabs, not asphalt. It is of fine quality and in good condition. However, when heavy rain falls and landslides happen, some portions may be washed away or blocked. You may not want to ride here during or right after heavy rain. The actual concrete slabs are pretty narrow as you can see. However, you do have extra space on either side of the road. Uh, in satul ăla trebuia să dau la pitace. Mă simt prost că puteam să dau la toți câteva zi să fac oamenii să zâmbească. Stai ca intreb Ciao, Aing! Hello! Aing ơi! Cho em hỏi cả làng thì có bao nhiêu người? Em muốn tặng lì xì cho cả làng Nhưng mà muốn nhờ anh giúp em để chia lì xì được không? Bởi vì em không có thời gian để đi các nhà Chúc chó mà! Chúc chó vì đây nhiều lắm Tức là chia mình có mấy chục Chia cho các cháu trước đã Sau đó chia cho người lớn cũng được Được không? Chúc mừng năm mới Không nhiều tiền đâu chỉ là vì tết thôi không à. không, không, không chúc anh chúc không, anh chúc anh chúc anh cũng được không có tiền ừ, không có mai <cười> hết rồi rồi cảm ơn, cảm ơn. à còn nhiều hơn chuẩn bị khoảng một nghìn uh, phòng bị lì xì này ít tiền thôi bởi vì không có nhiều nhưng mà có một nghìn lì xì trong ba lô <cười> anh anh uh, nước nào chúc mừng năm mới rumani rumani ở châu âu châu âu ạ mai nữa cây hơn cây thoại kia mai Hello. Bye bye. Finally, like I said, the distance between Hegat and Hesang is about 240 kilometers. You could do it in one day, but it will be tiring from all the curves that seem to never end. Besides, you won't have much time to admire the stunning nature around you. I therefore recommend a stop at Chengtang Motel or Nyangi Chengtang in Longsun. It's right on this road, 105 kilometers south of Hegat. Very important, if you're at Hegat and you type in Nyangi Chengtang, Google Maps will take you off the Ho Chi Minh Road west since it sees other routes faster. 
just head south on the Ho Chi Minh Road West, which appears as QL15 or Ho Chi Minh Tai on Google Maps, and after 25 kilometers, type in Miangi Cheng Tang. It will show you exactly 80 kilometers left on the Ho Chi Minh Road West. It's a great place, brand new and with delicious food cooked by the host and the gas station about 100 meters south of it, on the left side of the road. You can find out more about this hotel including their contact in this related video in the top right corner. Thank you for watching and I hope you'll be here next Friday for the second part video. Chung Tang Hotel! Beautiful hotel. Nice! Ciao, Aang! Flip-flops and all that. Yeah. What's up? The rooms are upstairs and the keys are in the doors. <laughs>